Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a short unboxing and review of this baby, uh, JGRC Q75. haven't seen many of these floating around so I thought it would make uh, for an interesting review. I also haven't reviewed any JGRC products as yet so again uh, this is a first for me so I um, thought it might make an interesting change. As ever um, I haven't opened this box, uh, you'll be seeing it as I open it for the first time. So if there's any damage etc, poor packaging, uh, you'll be the first ones to know about it. Now before we go on, um, it's fairly, I think it's going to be a fairly standard sort of 1 uh scale fare. Um, it says it's got 500 gram load, uh, concealed battery, it has got diffs on this. so what it compares like off-road to the FAE FY004 um, that would be interesting as well six-wheel drive uh, it says shock absorbers but I think it really means leaf springs and I don't believe this is uh, a proportional steering so we'll, we'll find out anyway now without further ado let's get it out of the box like I say I've yet to open this so you're seeing it as I'm doing it Well, immediately, I'm impressed with that. Well done, JJRC. Comes its own polystyrene case. Uh, so the so the days of ending up with a battered, broken truck through the post, uh, if everybody did this, would be over. Um, so, so we have the controller, which is non-proportional. Uh, we sort of knew that anyway. Little screwdriver, battery charger. Some destructions. Get this thing out. That that is really good. That is well done, JGRC. That is really well packed. I'm really impressed. Oh, let's get it out. What's this at the bottom here? Oh, now there's a little bit in the box. Whether that's broken off something, I don't know. So I might be eating my words. Ah, there we go. The battery lives in a little tray under the back. Uh, oh, now, now then, this is a 7.4 volt um, unit. Normally, they are 6 volt. So, that's interesting. 800 milliamp power, 7.4 volt. It actually, and I think. This, tr this bed, I think, is used by the Mancat version. And interestingly enough, it says DC 6 volt in the back. Um, so, well, that's, that, that's interesting, 7.4 volt. Because um, usually, like I say, they were 6 volt. Well, first impressions are, it's quite a handsome looking thing. I do quite like the Hemet uh, style trucks anyway. Because uh, obviously you'll know I've got the fee. Doors open. We've got. I bet you can't see there, unfortunately. Quite a detailed interior. Obviously the battery lives in the back. We've done that. Now then, it does look as though it's only got a 130 motor in it. So. Uh, power wise we're not going to expect much from it um, all three axles are diffs like I say non-proportional steering which will probably be horrible what these diffs are like and how they compare to the fey ones off-road uh, We'll soon find out. So it's, it's sort of standard, very standard sort of 1 16th fare really. The twin rails, uh, leaf springs, like I say diffs on this, non-proportional steering. Let's just compare it to the Faye for two seconds. I don't, instantly though, don't really like, these look a little bit unfinished, these lights. Now then, 
size wise the JJRC is a little bit shorter uh, a little bit smaller phase phase is a much larger truck I think I don't know if you can get an impression there the Faye is the larger out of the two now I do prefer uh, these wheels on the Faye, uh, on the JGRC I should say uh, they're a bit more scale looking um, but off-road uh, these are great these are a great wheel and tire combination I must admit um, and although they don't quite look as scale and people have commented on the fact that they don't like the wheels on the Faye um, they are a good wheel and tire combination now the only thing I've got to compare it to is is my Faye, but I can't really do a back-to-back -back test because the Faye's been modified and that would be unfair on the JGRC. So what we're going to have to do is just, I'll test the JGRC and from memory I'll try and compare the two. So without further ado, uh, I'll get the battery charged up and we'll take this bad boy out for a spin and see what he's like. And before I forget, the only thing you will have to supply is two uh, AA batteries for the transmitter. So, let's try it. Okay, back inside now. So, what did we think? Well, uh, let's start with the good points first, because there are a lot of bad ones. Um, first one is scale looks. It looks fantastic. It's a good representation of a Hemet-looking truck. I mean, it does have lots of nice um, scale features, like, like I say, the doors open, and I think the, you know, the tailgate at the back comes down it's got a nice spacious bed if you wanted to put stuff in go for a little bit of a trail run so from a scale point of view um, JJRC they've done a good job of making the truck look uh, like a, a reasonable representation of a Hemet uh, truck uh, the wheels are a little bit more scale than the Faye ones granted and uh, they do suit the truck a bit, a bit better from so from a looks standpoint um, I think it's a fairly good interpretation. Not keen on these without any grills. I do like the grills on the face. These look a little bit unfinished. Uh, but apart from that, looks well done. Um, the packaging it comes in is absolutely spot on. Once again, JJRC, I take my hat off to you. That uh, polystyrene box it came in, um, brilliant. Uh, a 7.4 volt electrics. Uh, allow the 130 motor inside to be quite peppy it's got quite a decent top speed considering it's only 130 motor um, not much in the way of torque but it, it, it's quite fast actually uh, considering it's it's literally only 130 motor so um, that's good also it's a, an excellent basis um, if you want to upgrade it uh, there's plenty of parts out there available for these uh, they're interchangeable between the WPLs, etc. So if you did want to upgrade, uh, which you most definitely will, um, it should be straightforward and won't cost you an arm and a leg. Now, bad points. Ugh. Not only is the steering non-proportional, but the throttle is also non-proportional, um, which is absolutely awful. Um, you can just about put up with a, a non-proportional steered truck, but when the, the throttle is just on-off as well, it's just awful to control. 
Um, I can't tell you how, how bad it is. There really isn't any need. I mean, if anyone out there is watching from Fay, you've gone to the trouble of putting a button on the controller for fast and slow. Um, get rid of that. Give us give us fully proportional throttle. Surely it sure. wouldn't be any more expensive because uh, there must be some sort of circuitry in there that you know uh, is is linked to the button, etc. Um, but that's just junk. No one no one wants that. Just junk. Uh, give us fully proportional throttle, uh, throttle instead. Um, the price, considering um, the electrics, the electronics, I should say, in it aren't brilliant. You know, like I say, it's non-proportional. It's basically a toy. Uh, the price, um, they seem to be the premium JJRCs do, uh, and I, I can't really see where they they've spent their extra money. I mean, the only conclusion I can draw is they must spend all the profit on champagne at a shareholders meeting instead of the products um, because like i say the fay is oh, cheaper and is just a better product hands down there really isn't any excuse nowadays to produce a 1 16th truck like this without fully proportional throttle so um would i recommend this truck do you know what this is the first time this happened i'm going to say no i'm no i do not recommend it at all if you were in the market for a hemet style truck um and it was a toss-up between this and the fay fy004 um buy the fy004 fully proportional throttle fully proportional steering 180 motor 7.4 volts it would absolutely well it does it absolutely run, runs rings around this there's no competition and it's cheaper you could pick the or i picked my fay up for uh about, i think it was 28 quid on aliexpress uh, this thing can't be had as far as i'm aware for less than 35 quid 35 pounds so it's more expensive for a much worse worse product um so it's, i am really quite disappointed um Sorry, Faye, but you need to pull your fingers out. Uh, fully proportional. You need to upgrade it, or, or make this cheaper and give us a kit version that we can put our own electronics in. Um, it's probably the same with the, the Man Cat. They're both good-looking trucks. They're both an excellent basis for a good off-road, a good little off-road one sixteenth truck. Um, so produce them in a kit form. So if people who are serious about the hobby. Um, they can put their own electronics in and they end up with something half decent. Whereas this is just purely an expensive toy. Anyway, um, if you've enjoyed the video at all, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, click that subscribe button uh, for more similar content in the future. Thank you very much for watching.